Welcome to Complexity Made Simple. My name is Paul Allen and the subject of today's video newsletter, well, what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at a software tutorial, this time though using Minitab as our software of choice. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, welcome to the latest Minitab tutorial. And in this tutorial, what we're going to take a look at is the ability of Minitab to give you some summary statistics. Now, the version we're going to actually take a look at is the one which is known as the graphical summary. So it gives you a picture and it gives you some uh, summary statistics to go with it. So I've got some data here. So very straightforwardly, um, this is from a client of mine. So model one, model two. We're just going to take a look at model model one. This is a very straightforward analytical technique. We are just going to go to stat, basic statistics, and the top ones here, look, these are all the descriptive statistics. And I'm going to go to graphical summary there. And all I basically need to do is so just put the, the column of data that I want to analyze. There is no setup for this. You just click OK. And if I drop the data out the way, I open up the window. There you go. There's a nice histogram of what's going on, which is great. Uh, you can see, look, that Minitab is indicating that it thinks there's, there's three flyers in my data set, uh, which is the three stars there. Um, but it's telling me the mean, the standard deviation, the variance, the skewness and the kurtosis. The number of data points I use, 445, and some other statistics. It's also giving me some confidence intervals for the mean and the median. And it, it's just a really simple uh, summary statistics graph with, with a picture as well. So it's very simple uh, summary. Graphical summary is the, is the simple tool that I've used there. Now, I'm going to just show you, just before we end the video, I could have used another version. So if I'd gone basic statistics and it says display descriptive statistics. Now this literally are just, these are just numbers. There's no picture here. Um, so again, look, if I put model one in there, but if I go statistics, I can just switch all these numbers on. If I want to, so. I'm just going to switch them all on, click OK. Now there is something there that says graphs, so let's go there. So I could ask for additionally histogram of the data with a normal curve, with an individual value plot. So there's all sorts of additional um, data that I could, uh, diagrams that I could ask for here. But the standard, which I'm going to just use, I'm just going to generate the standard statistical output. And there it is, look, this is just a non numerical output unless you ask for anything different. So the, the summary report, the graphical summary, standard setup gives you a picture. The descriptive statistics, standard output gives you numbers unless you ask for the graphs. But there are the descriptive statistics and the graphical summary report using Minitab. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little tutorial on that subject. If you've got any questions about Minitab that you want me to help you with, or indeed any questions about Six Sigma uh, at all, or indeed Lean, please drop me a message either in the comments below. Please subscribe also. Um, but you can also leave me an email. If you send me an email on any question and you need a little bit of advice, I'm more than happy to help you out. And of course, if you want me to come and help you inside your factory fix a technical problem, please drop me a line. I hope to hear from you soon.